Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Road Riot. I'm Alex Vanover, joined by Bubby and Ladrib, and today we're gonna to be doing a digital shootout. Previously, we did a video, analog versus digital. You guys absolutely loved it, but we have some new gear to play with. We have Shark Bite and DJI. So this is like what you flew in the last episode where yep. you've got a race quad built with the DJI digital FPV system. It's got the Vista in there, uh, but this, this isn't an analog quad, this is also a digital. This is Shark Bite, so this has the HD Zero Race VTX. You can see this looks a lot more like the analog setup did. It's real slim down. Mm -hmm. Even this one is too. A lot has developed over the last year and a half, two years since we did that video. So now we're able to put the Vista in a much smaller package. These quads are darn near identical, despite the fact that this one has a Vista and this one has an HD Zero. They're really the same quad. So I'm gonna race them around the track and we're gonna see which one's faster. And I, I don't know which is which, which one's gonna be faster because I have been flying a lot of DJI in the last two years, and I've only just started flying Shark Bite recently, but I know a lot of the top racing pilots are flying this, and they are switching completely away from analog to it. If you haven't seen some of the other episodes where we've talked about the different video transmission systems, you might be wondering why would one be faster than the other on a racetrack? And it's all about latency, because with the DJI Digital FPV system, there tends to be a little bit more latency, which for people like you who are racers can kind of feel that, but with Shark Bite, there's a lot less latency. So, and that's always been the big difference is that you know, DJI has this increased latency, but the image quality is incredible. So, whereas analog, there's virtually no latency, the image quality was pretty bad. So it's just like, what matters more on a racetrack? Seeing the gates super clearly, mm -hmm. or seeing them in yeah. real time? Shark Bite kind of is in the middle grounds between analog and DJI, where it has a lot less latency, but the image quality is not as good as DJI necessarily. But it's better than analog. It's much sure. better than analog, yeah. So I think it's kind of a good middle ground. So I'm very curious to see, we don't have an analog quad here, because I really want to compare the digital systems between mm -hmm. the two of them, because I'm very curious to see. I, again, I haven't flown that much HD Zero Shark Bite, but I've been flying a ton of DJI ever since that first episode. That's when I just kind of got into it. So I actually might be faster at the DJI because I'm so used to it. So mm. it's we're really gonna be able to push the systems today. They're identical quads, and I'll go ahead and talk about what's in them right now. We have some frames from 533. This is a Switchback Zero and a Switchback HD. The only difference is this one's a little bit bigger to carry the Vista in there. This has the Vanover motors, which are 2021 KV. We have a Foxier stack in this quad. This one has a race video transmitter in here, and it has the brand new Fox here, Digisite V3 camera, which is like the best shark bite camera that so you can get. That is something fun about shark bite is it was developed to be more open source. Any company can develop cameras or transmitters for it. DJI is way more locked out. The performance seems to be pretty standard across the board when you're using DJI, yep. other than a few exceptions like the Polar camera. But with shark bite, the different types of cameras you can get can provide you know vastly different types of performance in terms of the resolution and right. even the latency. So, you know, why'd you pick this particular camera? So this one, first off, I'm a big Foxier fan. I've always thought that in the analog world, they make the best cameras for racing and for freestyle when it comes to analog video feed. And so when they came out the Digisite, it just looked like the best camera option for me to use because I trust Foxier. I've always found they have the best image. And plus, I always like to try the hottest, the latest, greatest thing. All the guys who I've talked to who have tried this say it's the best camera you can get for shark bite right now and it's the lowest latency, and I wanna try that for racing. Now what I have tried to do in this case is make these quads weigh as similarly as I possibly can. It's not 100%, yeah. it's just, it's never going to be. Right. Anytime we do a comparison video, there's always someone in the comments, going, why didn't you make it, like, when you're when you're comparing different things, there's always gonna be some little bit of difference because of right. how they go together. So I, I would say these are, they're nearly identical I can tell you quads. what they are. They're six grams apart. Six oh, grams. Six, They're six grams exactly. apart. Six grams, yes. You may not be able to visually see it, but they are six grams apart. I have weighed these quads. Put a so piece it's of electrical tape on the other one. Yep. To balance it. I'm, yeah, I'm not even going to tell you which one is heavier because I don't. I mean, you can probably <laughs> assume which one is is maybe a little bit heavier. But the quads are literally identical everywhere else. So it's just going to come down to what I feel as a pilot, which one I prefer, and which one I'm ultimately faster with. So we have a track out here at FBV Oasis in Orlando, Florida, which is a public FBV park where you can come and fly. Really awesome that we have a location like this to just be able to come out and not be interrupted and just be able to fly our drones safely. Yeah, if you live in the Orlando area or if you're visiting, come by Bill Frederick Park and they got gates set up for you. I'm gonna go ahead and warm up with both of these quads, make sure everything's flying good, get used to the track, and then I'm gonna set down my fastest laps on each and we'll see which one's faster. I think 
Shark Bite's gonna win, but I wouldn't be surprised if DJI wins, only because I've been flying strictly DJI for two years now, and I've only gotten a little bit of time on Shark Bite. So the fact but that see, it's different, I, let's, I wanna talk about that. So why have you been flying DJI? I got a job. <laughs> well, actually what I mean by that is I've been working in the FPV industry, and in the FPV industry, the kind of the standard when you're on a big set is you're not gonna show the director an analog video feed. You're gonna show them a DJI FPV feed. Right. So I kinda got forced into flying it, and then the more I flew it, the more I started really like the image of it, to be perfectly honest. And mm -hmm. for freestyle, I felt like I was more confident flying it. But when you enter a race, do you then still use DJI, or is that the one <laughs> exception where you've been going to analog? Yeah, I've been going to analog, and then uh, previously I've been trying to build some quads on Shark Bite because it seems like every single racer is switching away from analog to Shark Bite. Okay. So, so you're already convinced that for racing, you're using Shark Bite. 100%. I okay. think that it's, it's better just, than analog. It's better than analog. Okay. But That's why I didn't even want to compare. But we're just going to give this. DJI one more fair shot at it. Yeah. In absolutely. my opinion, after like warming up on both of them, I feel great on both. A little more comfortable on DJI, um, but the quads are flying identical to each other. There's really no difference there. So if DJI is going to win, and we're not trying to make DJI win, I just like if DJI lost badly. You're biased. Last year, you're so biased. You sponsored we're piece sponsored. of shit. All right, so I've got my warm-up packs on both of the quads. I've flown two packs on Shark Bite, two packs on DJI. So now we're going to fly and do the test. We're going to see what my fastest lap time and also my like fastest three lap times are. So I'm going to start with the Shark Bite. I'm going to then fly the DJI, back to the Shark Bite, and then finish on the DJI. So that's four batteries. We're going to see what's the fastest time. Flat. 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 Say from my end, okay. Can I notice the variable latency? Yes, I can. But after flying DJI for two years, it's less. So you learn to predict it. Yeah, it's just okay. not as like I don't have the issue with it. And what I did predict. notice though is flying. Oh, I can see these gates. The picture's nice and big. So you think the picture is even better than on that digital? Oh, I mean, for when sure. I, that was my first time looking through a shark bite camera, other than the you know the the Man, standard. No run cam camera, and I was really impressed with that. I yeah. thought it looked really good. Who do you want to win? We know there's bias. Who do you want to I win? I don't think there's any bias. Like, part of me <laughs> really wants Shark Bite to win because I just put it in three of my quads. Yeah. Um, so I, 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 I genuinely want HG Zero to win. I also, it just seems like in the racing community that's the most accepted, so I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for yeah. if DJI does better. But at the same time, like, I don't really care. Like, what I want at this point is I just wanna have fun. Like, I wanna go to local races. I wanna use whatever's compatible whatever I can use and just like go out there and have a good time. One thing I have noticed is the, I think it's 120 FPS of the DJI. Uh -huh. I notice it big time. Cause like this is 60 FPS. Oh, it's only 60? It's okay. only 60. So like I, when so I put the DJI on, it's just like, Ooh, it's smooth. Gotcha. Like, that's one thing I do notice about it. Like, Get 
do again. This trip, consistency. That was 11-3. 11-3? Okay. That was 11-3. Wow. But he killed it over there. Did, oh my god. <laughs> I was giving it everything at the very oh. end. Because it was a good lap. So I'm like, yeah. all right, if this is my last lap, I'm like, I'm winning. That was sick. That was a good lap. That was sick. So like in an actual three. race, that would count? Just you gotta yeah. get through I went through it. the gate. Yeah. Nice. You went and it was gate. power on too, so there was the timing would have caught it. Gotcha. Nice. Motors are fine. Those Vanover motors. Whew. Yep, we Ooh, got some. Actually, look, you did. Oh my god, look at the dent you put in the bell. Look you at that. You can see where it like took paint. Like <laughs> This motor is so hot, too. What are these? These are. 2021. 2207, 2021 KV on 6S. On 6S. <laughs> no throttle cap. Oh my god. But that's what you gotta do to go fast these days, man. <laughs> like, I think if I were to put more time on this system, you know, get used to the. HDO goggles once again, everything. I probably would be going maybe even a little bit faster. But oh, that's really fast, dude. 113. <laughs> but at the same time, if I also put that same time into just specifically DJI racing, I'd probably go a little faster there too. But we got one more battery on DJI for racing. Let's see if we can break 113. I want to be very clear too. I'm giving it absolutely everything on all these batteries. I, like I said, I, if anything, I would want Shark Bite to win just because I've spent money on it. But yeah. Like I'm, you, I'm, I'm genuinely giving it absolutely everything. Are you like I can. pushing the throttle stick all the way up? Oh yeah, okay. as much as I comfortably can. <laughs> <laughs> are we going? We get shut up. I can't. With it. <laughs> I was pushing. He it. got a 12 and 11 and 11. He pushed it to so. the <laughs> So actually, my average is better on DJI. Your average is better on DJI. Because <laughs> I had like 12, no, 12, so and then 11, 3 on Shark Bite. Mm -hmm. That's true. But on this, yeah. it was like 12, 11, 11. Yeah. I felt like I would be more consistent with DJI because I've been flying it a lot. The Shark Bite, I'm like, okay, I'm getting used to it. But I feel like that 11, 3 on Shark Bite kind of showed the potential of what that right. slightly lighter. And it could be much lighter as well. Let's be very clear. I was trying to make the weight similar. You can really not get this set up any lighter with the Vista. Mm -hmm. So if you're competitively racing, you can make that Shark Bite quad so 20 you grams lighter. that down to match it. Just so we can focus on like latency and everything like that. Last time, if I'm not mistaken, Analog not only had the fastest lap, but it was the best three consecutive laps every time. Okay. But with DJI, I had a better three consecutive lap time. Mm -hmm which technically by multi-GP is what's more important because they go off of your three consecutive time versus your single best. Shark Bite had the faster single lap, but DJ had the more consistent three laps. And I think I attribute that consistency to me being comfortable with the DJI headset. That 11.3 showed the potential of what I could do consistently. I think the latency makes a difference. The, yeah. the ability to be lighter makes a difference. It was really close, but I, I can confidently say the winner is you, Alex. Aww. You're an amazing pilot. Aww, it's always true. great having you here, <laughs> putting the gear through the test. Guys, what do you think is better? Yeah. Because we're not going to say. <laughs> we're really not we're gonna going to say. You saw the results. Which do you think is better suited for racing? Leave a comment down below. Get in an argument. Engagement's a good thing. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. We are always having a great time with drones, pushing them to their limits. We post videos every Monday. And if you don't want to miss a single one, there's a little bell icon. And if you hit that, we'll spam you. We'll let you know, hey, we posted. Come on over and watch something. Guys, I'm Ladrib. I'm Alex Vanover. I'm Bubby FPV. We'll see you next time on Rotor Riot. Woo! Well, so we just no, finished the outro this is the, better. The, the post roll. I'm like, all right, Bubby, like I'm doing some orbits around Winston. We're getting some B-roll. I'm like, all right, bring out your timer. Let me see. Like, I don't care. At this point, the episode's done. Let's like try and kill the quad. Like, I don't care if I crash it or the times. Your first lap was an 11.5, and the second one was an 11.8, and then you got an 11.2. 11.2. So, so you beat it with right, DJI. So, so get the shark bite. So now bite. I got to get the shark bite, and I got to I gotta try it. We can it. just be here all day. Just watching Alex fly. We don't need to fly. We can just be here all day watching Alex just go. <laughs> watch Drew all day with his overly steady videos. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
smash, smash, smash in the face. <laughs> <laughs>